Hello guys, welcome to your first tutorial. I'm going to explain today to you how you can download the IDE for Python. This is the place where, you, where you'll be writing your code and compiling your code. It's for example if you if you need to make a text data you would write your text in Word. If you wanna paint something you would use Adobe Photoshop or something like that and if you want to write your code you use something called IDE which is integrated development environment and you can download one from the Python page you can download it from here but I advise you to download the distribution uh, the distribution contains other packages that provide functions and so on that you might need later to do extra things and if you download if you download a distribution you would go get those packages ready instead of having to download them later and the thing uh, the the integrated development environment which I will be using is from Anaconda You come here and then you press on download and then you find the one you need there is Python 2.7 version but I don't advise you to use 2.7 I advise you to use 3.7 because 2.7 is not getting any support anymore and then you press on the download and just wait for a while so I'm gonna pause the video until it's downloaded okay so now I finished downloading it and I'm going to install it on my computer by the way I'll be using Windows as you can see but you can also download it for Linux and MacBook just press next find the place where you want to download it yeah okay so I'm gonna pause the video again until it's installed anyways back uh, I finished installing Anaconda I'm going to show you this page and this page it shows you other IDEs in case you don't want to use Anaconda I know a lot of people maybe already know PyCharm or something like that and you can use like other ones and it shows you which packages comes with it and so on with the explanation and you can't find the one you can find the one that is uh, more suitable for you but I will be using Anaconda at the end you'll get the same result I'm gonna leave the URL in the description in case you wanna check the page for yourself out anyways I'm gonna show you now how does it look like in Anaconda You write IDLE and it opens something called the interactive mode. In the interactive mode, you can write Python code and see the results immediately. For example, 5 plus 5 is equal 10. You can say A is equal 10. And then it saves. 10 in the var variable A. I'm going to explain to you everything in details in future tutorials. I just want to show you what you are able to do over here. You can say print and it prints hello world. This is an interactive mode where you can when you can where you can test the code that you want to put in your program and if you want to write bigger programs you just say new file and then you write it over here and after you're done writing your code over here 
you can just run it and when you run it you'll see the results over here I'm gonna show you I wanna run the same code hello world so I write hello world I have to save it before being able to run it so I'm gonna save it on the desktop call it hello world and I ran it and it says hello world here you can see the path to the to the Python file which is over here exactly anyways that would be it I'll explain to you the details about variables and everything in the next tutorial so don't worry I will explain to you all the meaning of all of this and how to do it and so on and what's a sprint etc okay I hope you guys gain something from this video see you in the next one